Let me go. I'm here with Andres. <laughs> Andy. Can I have him, Andy? I can. No, Andy. Yeah, I'm a factist. Yeah, yeah, actually. Yes. We're gonna do bass video. This is the same bass that we put piano strings on way back. We yeah. should redo that. We should make better new video. Yeah. Today, however, we just removed the barbed wire, which made some glorious marks here. We're gonna try something that I couldn't find, that I can't believe that I couldn't find. It feels like something that somebody should have thought of, which is shoelaces on a bass. It's shoe bases. <laughs> I feel like this has potential. We could start, uh, like you start on one there and I start on one here. Oh, this is see. cute of us. I'm a former scout, so I should remember something. Oh, cookie boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I'm just gonna spin this bad boy. You believe in, in that? In God? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Happy base. Oh! <laughs> oh, Jack! Yeah. 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 It's not good intonation though, but. Yo. Oh, it's actually okay. That here it's weird, but it's gonna be pretty high pitch, I think, for it to for us to be able to pull this off. And now it's pretty good. But I mean, it's gonna be four, so. Oh. People are probably wondering what kind of shoelaces to use. But we put some <laughs> thought into this because we went to the shoelace store and we picked round ones, obviously, because it looks more like a strings. And flat ones might be super cool. Yeah. Maybe that's like a, a totally different approach to it. But also we picked this color because it looks uh, like a string color. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys and I'm just, yeah, like that. Yeah, tutorial this. Tutorial shit. this, yeah. And now, I don't know if I should go over now. Oh, let's try under and just make a knot here. Oh, very good. The shoelaces are made of cotton. We discussed this with the shoelace man for a good five minutes that we wanted to have oh! more plastic ones. It broke somewhere. What broke? What exactly? Did you break the. Thing? Bass? No, but just like one semitone or something. Yeah, that's a whole. It's new strings, you know. <laughs> yeah, brand <laughs> new! <laughs> okay, now let's take the next wow. step. Wow! Yeah. This, this is pretty awesome, actually. Okay, well, let's get this shit over with and cut to plugging it in. It's all fucked up! It's all fucked up! It's a fact that... Bad. This doesn't work. What we noticed now when we plugged it in is that this particular pickup, which is one kind of pickup that uh, even though he's super bassist, we have no idea about what this type of pickup is because playing wise you're saying it's very nice to play. Oh yeah, it feels really comfortable. I feel like it should work. When when yeah. you play it, I feel like it we can sounds hear. like it should work. My first solution is obviously to tell you guys to try this out with shoelaces on different types of bases to figure out if it just works with another pickup, because probably it will. But we notice that if we just add a metallic thing, so this is a needle, uh, it's called something. We put a thumbtack on each string, then it will work. So we put it... Oh shit. It sounds almost like the piano strings, like the bell type of... Yeah, it's a very bell sound. Overtones. It's the body of this needle, or what do you call it? But you even get overtones now. Yeah. Why? It's from, the, I believe it's from the body, uh, the metallic body of that one, right? <laughs> it's not close to how it sounds. <laughs> <laughs> it's dangerous here now. <laughs> so we, you know. You know. Oh. Okay, let's it. Ah! Instagram. Oh. We also tried with like a piezo, but that didn't sound very good. Underwater sound? Yeah. But 
but the intonation gets weird if you tune it again. So we're gonna hook up a drum machine and uh, uh, I don't know, just make it sound cool. I kind of forget about this once and just pierce my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds freaking awful. As well, I wish we could capture it dry. Yeah, without and also without these guys. Yeah, because they are uh, they're cool, but they're they're very noisy. Like, could somebody please hook me up with an acoustic bass, please? Uh, people having acoustic basses that would maybe work. You know, you put it on oh, something yeah. acoustic instead. Let's check what the cheapest acoustic bass costs. It just sucks that it doesn't work with the pickups. Yeah, and also intonation. Yeah. <laughs> Well, what did we expect? Not much. Very much. You expect? Yeah, we, yeah. we were kind of super hyped. <laughs> I was super hyped, and then I like yeah, fell yeah. to the bottom. But as you were saying, like coming from a bassist standpoint, very nice to play. Yeah. It's very safe to play, except the needles. <laughs> One thing I noticed is like you can slide really easily, but you can also burn yourself. It's like ooh, you, yeah, you get like. Uh, Blisters on my fingers. Yeah, exactly. Take it easy, back home. So try it! Do it. <laughs>